I'm Ananda. I'm a senior product line manager with the wireless connectivity business unit at Synaptics. Today we are going to show you Wi-Fi sensing using our Wi-Fi chip, the 43752, running off of our Astra Machina dev kit here. So you can see it's got a small chip like this, you know, on a module. You can easily build very small form factor devices. So what's happening here is this device is exchanging packets with the router that sits behind that cabinet down there. And as it does, it basically captures the deflection of the signals and then compares it with how it was in an empty room versus with us all being in here. And then it basically displays, like as you can see here, the channel state information in a graphical way. And then we have built an AI model on top of it with a certain confidence level and only when the model's output goes beyond the confidence level it can predict that okay someone is present or if there is a large motion. So right now we are fairly static but so but it still detects our presence using the breathing signals because human beings breathe at a certain re respiration rate. You can see this very fairly periodic square waves over here depicting motion. So we have trained our AI models on that and then however if we do large motion you will see the pattern will be much wider and that says motion detected at that point. So you can see we have trained AI models to differentiate breathing versus large motion just based off of our Wi-Fi sensing signals that are coming out of that chip. What's the limit of how much, how much you can detect? So right now we have trained the AI model to differentiate between large motion and breathing but it can be trained for various other things like how many people are in a room or if someone is falling. All of these will have different signatures on that. And once we train AI models on those different signatures, it will be able to infer and differentiate between these events as well. And there's no need to add anything. Just your technology needs to be there and it works. Yeah, that's the other beauty of it. Like most IoT devices come with Wi-Fi these days. So you can just leverage that Wi-Fi to essentially uh, diagnose this kind of situations in the environment, you don't need another sensing device such as a radar or ultra wideband or something like that. You can use the inherent Wi-Fi that's in that product.